In the Devices section, you can register, manage and delete your devices. To register a device, you will need a unique key. To get this unique key for your device, you will need to be running the Embed Signage Play application on your compatible device. To find out which devices are compatible, go to our website and go to the Devices page. Once you have your six digit unique key, you enter that here to register it onto your account. Once the device has been registered, you will see a quick summary of its information here. To edit the device, you can click on its name or on the pencil icon here. Here you will then see the device information in more depth. We can then view things such as its model, resolution, IP and MAC addresses, as well as some of its software information. On the left hand side we can then edit some of its settings. So we can change its name, the refresh time, which is how often the device will connect to embed, to check the device settings and update its stats and content. Which channel the device is assigned to, we will come into channels in a later tutorial video. Some devices allow you to use either the external or internal storage, that can be selected here. The default volume to set the volume of the device. Which folder the device is assigned to. The orientation of the device can be changed here. Whether the device controller is enabled for remotely managing your device. And then its location. This is used for features such as the weather widget and conditional play. This can be entered manually here. You'll then see at the top on the map, we have pinned its location. On the right hand side, we can also view some of the device stats. We can see its status. This will let us know if the device is online or offline. The device is online when it's connected to the internet. When you want to change or update your content, the device will have to be online so it can download changes and store for local playback. We can also see when the device was last connected, the date and time on the device, when the device was registered, and when it last received the channel. To save these settings, click Save Device. As you can see, our device has now been updated. Its name has changed and its location has been set. We can then carry out these options on our device. So we can select all, create and move to folders for general housekeeping, add tags. Tags are used for filtering to find devices easier and user groups to segment parts of the account. We can also delete devices and if we have enabled device controller we can start that here. We can also hide or show the map and then we can filter to find our device. As I mentioned before, you can remotely manage your device. You can do this by enabling the device controller. If you have it enabled, you can select your device or devices and click Start Controller. This will then get you a screenshot of your device. It will then tell you the device date and time, and then you can carry out these options here. So we can get an updated screenshot. We can then reboot the device. With this option, we can turn the screen's backlight on or off. We can then schedule the device to go off and come back on by setting the device on off timers. And we can also change its volume. Once you're done, click stop controller. To delete a device, you can either press this button here or you can select it and delete it from the top. Once deleted, it will remove it from your account and then it will also give you a brand new six digit unique key.